What's up everybody, it's Robin Gaming here and today I'm bringing you a very important video. The video that I'm about to show you. This commentary is probably one of the most important commentaries I will, uh, I will ever do or I have ever done so far. Today I'm going to give you my thoughts on when exactly I think Uncharted 4 is going to be announced, uh, if it's even going to be announced, if it's going to be made, uh, and on what system, on what console and why. Um, so first of all, I just want to quickly tell you that I'm a big fan of the gaming industry. You know, my channel is focused on Uncharted right now, but I'm actually, I'm a very close follower of the whole gaming industry. I watch a lot of game sites, I read all practically all the news, I, I truly know a lot about games and it's just that these days I see people making statements about things, about games, about consoles and I'm just not agreeing with it but that's most, m you know, the most important thing is just that people that make those statement, statements are not, you know, most of the time they're not really well informed. That's just what can really irritate me, it can really annoy me if I see, you know, if I see people making statement, statements, I have a lot of trouble with the word statements. Um, if I see people making statements where, you know, they just don't know a lot ab about. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's quickly just start off by saying that I'm going to make this commentary about Uncharted 4. But that I'm also planning to do a commentary about the PlayStation 4 in general. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the PlayStation 4 in this commentary video. But yeah, I'm really, you know, I'm really, uh, I really want to do another commentary video that's just about the PS4 and what's happening with that console. But now, just to start, um, just let, let's first start uh, looking at the previous Uncharted games. So we had Uncharted 1 which was announced at E3 2006 when the PS3 was announced and it came out in 2007. So yeah, uh, basically then it was Uncharted 2 that got announced one year after the release of Uncharted 1 at the Spike VGA, uh, you know, the Video Game Awards in 2008. Uh, and ultimately Uncharted 2 came out in, uh, in October 2009, so a year after. Now, a year after that, after the release of Uncharted 2, uh, Uncharted 3 got announced again at the Spike Video Game Awards 2010 and uh, the final game came out in 2011. Now, you know, if you look at that you would say that we are actually very close to the announcement of an Uncharted 4. I mean, Uncharted 3 came out a year ago now already. It's already a, a year ago. Yeah, you, you would say that Uncharted 4 would be announced this December at the Spike Video Game Awards. However, it's not gonna be, trust me. That's what I think. Again, this is all in my opinion. This is what I think. But Uncharted 4 is not gonna be announced this Spike Video Game Awards. Um, although, you know, when looking at the previous titles again, you would really say that it was gonna be announced in two months. Um, now, why is that? The biggest reason for that is that Uncharted 4 is not gonna be coming on PS3, trust me. There's not gonna be any more Uncharted games on the PS3. It's gonna be on the PS4. Um, for the people that still think that there's not coming, un that there's not, you know, an Uncharted game that will uh, be coming in the future, they are wrong. Naughty Dog has stated several times that they will keep making Uncharted games as long as people want them. You think there's still people that want them? I believe there are. The, the, the whole, you know, the whole franchise has just gotten bigger and bigger and more people have been playing it. Um, so yeah, let, let's talk a bit. As I said, I want to do a separate commentary about the PS4, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna quickly tell you that the PS4 is already gonna be announced this E3 2013. Again, this is my opinion. A lot of people seem to not agree with me. They're coming up with these arguments like, no, 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 it's gonna be coming in 2015, maybe even 2016. Sony has said there's a 10 year cycle for the PS3. That would mean that the console would at least, uh, uh, you know, get support until 2016. Sure, you are right. They will get support until 2016 for sure. I can guarantee you that. But support just means that there are games coming out for it. Support does not mean that, that there's not going to be any other consoles announced, that there's not going to be a successor to the PS3, that there's not going to be a, a, a PlayStation 4. Of course there's going to be a PlayStation 4. And just look at it. Just look at the innovation right now. People have been screaming 
for uh, new consoles already for two years now. There has to be a point in which it comes. I mean, Sony has Sony and Microsoft both have been trying to like, uh, um, yeah, how should I put that? They've been trying to just keep it at the PS3 and 360 for a long time because they, you know, they just they were kind of afraid for a new console because they, you know, say say there's this huge, you know, right now there's huge technology uh, opportunities and there it's all. Um, you know, it's all it's all coming. I mean, just look at the new technologies that we've got. And I mean, three years ago, we didn't have an iPad yet, or we didn't have uh, uh, you know touch screens and stuff like that. That's only it's it's going so fast. And what Microsoft and Sony are afraid of is that when they make their new console, and uh, you know the the let's say the let's say Microsoft, so they are afraid that when they make their new console. And when Sony decides to wait two years with it, that the technology is already going to be so much behind and that the PS4 can do such great things already that are just uh, much better than the 360. That's what they're afraid of. However, w what we need to look at right now is that Nintendo we uh, just announced the Wii U. Uh, or I mean just announced. They announced it already a year ago, but it's coming in, uh, in a month right now. It's coming November 30th. Um, now that's not the biggest thing for uh, Microsoft and Sony because Nintendo is definitely like a different system uh, for them and it's it's a different league for, for you know for different uh, people a different audience but when you look at the uh, 360 right now there's just not much coming out sure they've got their Halo they've got their Gears of War and maybe their Forza that's about it that's three exclusives right now that they have Microsoft is definitely 100% guaranteed gonna be coming with the Xbox 720 or whatever you want to call it they're definitely gonna be coming with that at E3 2013 and Sony does not want to be left behind Sony is gonna compete one-to-one -one with the 720 that's just what I'm gonna call it right now that's probably not gonna be what the name will be for next for the next Microsoft console um, so yeah I mean the PS4, I'm sure of it that it will be announced, you know, either at two, E3 2013 or on a special event, but it's going to be announced next year, trust me. It's just, and for the people that are, that are, uh, you know, saying, um, uh, you know, I don't want the new PlayStation to come out, I want my PS3, look at the great games. I mean, I totally do not agree, uh, or I mean, agree with you. Um, yeah, I, w I was going to say something very rude, but I'm, yeah, I'm going to keep it respectful. But w trust me, we need a new console. We need a PS4. And why is that? Just look at the innovation in games. Right now, the only games we are seeing are Assassin's Creed 39, are Call of Duty 74. It's just not fun anymore. Do we see new IPs? Yes, we do. We see The Last of Us. Uh, we see Beyond. But that's about it. We don't see a lot of new IPs. We don't see a lot of innovation in games. Uh, it's basically copy paste and just add a few more things. It's not fun anymore. When if you think about uh, those same franchises, Uncharted, Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, they basically all started this generation. That's what made them so exciting. It, they all offered new things, and basically they've been building, been building on that and building and building until the point that people have seen it and they just don't think it's fun anymore. Trust me, when the new console cycle begins. There's going to be a lot of new IPs. Uh, studios will be, you know, they, they, they won't be afraid to make a new IP because it's, it's a whole new start. And it's going to be great, trust me. We want the PS4 because a PS4 just, uh, yeah, just means a lot of new innovation, a lot of new games. However, um, yeah, the, the, same, the same thing, by the way, counts for Uncharted, of course. Uncharted... I mean, Uncharted 1 was a good game. Uncharted 2 was an amazing game. It, it basically improved on all the aspects of Uncharted 1. But then Uncharted 3 basically, you know, it was disappointing in some ways. And it was better in some ways. Um, yeah. Naughty Dog, I think Naughty Dog, Dog just thinks right now, they just, you know, they, they just think that if they want a, a new Uncharted game to be better than the previous title, than Uncharted 3, and they need to have new opportunities, they need to have new technology. So they will only do it on the PS4. Um, yeah, an another thing for that is just look at, uh, for example, a game like PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Uh, originally, Sony decided that Naughty Dog had to make that game. However, Naughty Dog said that they were making The Last of Us right now. Uh, at least that's what Sony said, that, they c that Naughty Dog couldn't do it because they were making The Last of Us. But 
they still have their Uncharted team. Why couldn't they do PlayStation All Stars? Why couldn't they do? You know, why couldn't they make that game? Um, because Sony needs a Naughty Dog studio for an Uncharted 4. Sony wants an Uncharted 4 for the PS4. Just, just think of it. Uh, the PS4 is getting announced, but no games for it are coming out. Now, nobody is going to buy the PS4. What is the game that people would buy in PS, PS4 for um, immediately, immediately when it launches? Just think of that. Which game would they want to see on the PlayStation 4 uh, if, they, if Sony wants them to buy the system at launch? Of course, it's Uncharted 4. Because Uncharted is Sony's biggest franchise. It's Sony's biggest exclusive franchise. They need it. They need an Uncharted 4. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I mean with the PlayStation All-Star story. They couldn't get Naughty Dog Team 1 because they just had to make a different game for them uh, on the PS4. And that's, of course, going to be Uncharted 4. Why is it going to be Uncharted 4? Why isn't it going to be a... Uh, you know, an IP, an, a new IP that they haven't done before. Well, basically, they just decided to start with The Last of Us already, which is a new IP. Um, it would be, you know, it, it, I wouldn't mind if they didn't continue Uncharted or if they made a new IP. Sure, it would break my heart a bit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I, I mean, they are going to make Uncharted 4 because, as I said, that's just what Sony needs for the PlayStation 4. They need a new Uncharted game and they want Naughty Dog to make, that, make it and not some kind of different studio that won't have the same, uh, you know, that won't be able to put the same quality into, the, uh, into Uncharted 4 than Naughty Dog would have done. Um, so, yeah, it's coming. Just look at the support for Uncharted 3 for the multiplayer. The, all the patches that are still coming out, the block match maps that we saw. Why would they put out block match maps for us? Why, why would they even create block match maps in the first place? If they were going to make a new IP, okay, just think of that. They, they were going to make a new IP, they were not going to uh, make any Uncharted game anymore. Why would they make those block match, uh, you know, block match maps, which were obviously made after Uncharted 3? Why would they do that? If they were going to make a new IP, they wouldn't be testing things on the Uncharted 3 engine. They wouldn't be testing maps that, that really look like Uncharted 3 maps. And just, just think of that. Just think of all the support that they're offering right now. They would not do that if they weren't going to continue Uncharted. Because let's, let's, let's be honest here, okay? The Uncharted 3 multiplayer, sure, it, it, a lot of people are playing it. A lot of people are not compared to Call of Duty or Battlefield or to any multiplayer. Um, sure, you might say, yeah, well, Uncharted just isn't Call of Duty and Battlefield, so stop comparing it with it. But at the start, you know, at the announcement of Uncharted 3, Naughty Dog said that the multiplayer for Uncharted 3 was going to compete with all the big multiplayers. Did it do that? No, it didn't. So do they want another try? Yes, they do. So... Yeah, if they already gave up on the Uncharted 3 multiplayer, then people wouldn't feel kind of attached to it anymore. People wouldn't be looking forward to it uh, to the Uncharted 4 uh, game as much because they just didn't play Uncharted 3 a lot. Um, so yeah, that's why they're really supporting the Uncharted uh, 3 community and the, the whole multiplayer, so the community j just you know stays playing it. So they will just return to an Uncharted 4. Basically, these are my thoughts. Uncharted 4 is gonna be announced next E3, E3 2013, as a launch game for the PlayStation 4. That's what's going to happen. Naughty Dog's going to announce it right there. The Last of Us will already be out because I expect it to be released in, uh, let's say, April 2013, somewhere somewhere at that point. Um, yeah, I'm confident Uncharted 4 is going to be announced next year at E3 2013. Not this Pike VJs. Trust me, don't get your hopes up, it's not going to be announced because they still have their, the Last of Us game as well, which still needs to be uh, released. So yeah, that's that's basically it. Uncharted 4, trust me, it is, it is going to come. It's going to come as soon as any Uncharted game because the PS4 is going to be announced at E3 2013 and it's going to release uh, fall 2013. So that means that uh, you know the time period between Uncharted 3 and Uncharted 4 is still going to be just two years. But trust me, it's going to be amazing.